Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Joyroot Jojo. This is the main module in MS102 exam series and we have covered deploy and manage Microsoft 365 tenant. I have done seven videos on this particular module and a combined video is available in my channel. So as per order, we have to move on implement and manage Microsoft Android identity and access. In my channel, I have already done multiple videos on Microsoft Android identity. Then I thought let's move on third module which is manage security and threats by using Microsoft Defender XDR and after completing this we will come back to the second module. So right now we are going to discuss manage security and threats by using Microsoft Defender XDR. In that particular module examine email protection in Microsoft 365. This comes first. <music> To manage security in Microsoft 365, we have to go to admin center and we have to go to security admin center, which is Microsoft Defender. This particular, in this portal, we manage security related aspects in Microsoft 365. All right. So this module examines the email security feature provided by Microsoft Exchange Online Protection, which is known as EOP. EOP is a cloud-based email filtering service included in Microsoft 365 suit. EOP is a cloud-based email filtering service included in Microsoft 365 suit. It serves as a foundational and base level of email security within Microsoft 365 environment. It's a base level and foundational email security within Microsoft 365 environment, which is called Microsoft Exchange Online Email Protection. <coughs> Exchange Online Protection, EOP. EOP is a instrumental in protecting organization from phishing, spoofing, spam, malware, EOP provides email security through the combination of techniques including IP and center reputation, heuristics, spam filtering, malware filtering, machine learning, filtering or phishing and spoofing. So with all these multiple combination of the techniques, they uh, provide email security. So while EOP provides a solid foundation for email security, organization with more advanced needs can enhance their protection by incorporating additional security features and services such as uh, those offered by Microsoft Defender for Office 365. EOP or Microsoft Exchange Online Protection provides us a base level protection or foundation level protection. If you want some additional level protection or advanced protection, then we can go with Microsoft Defender for Office 365. Together, EOP and Microsoft Defender for Office 365 provides a complete solution for protecting users against cyber threats originating in emails. So this particular module reviewing the capabilities of EOP, Exchange Online Protection. Implement anti-malware policies. So if you log into Microsoft Defender portal, here under email and collaboration, under policies and rules, if you click on that, we have here uh, set policies. <clears throat> so here you could see some anti phishing policies, anti spam policies, anti malware policies. First, let us see about anti malware. Protect your organization email from malware, including what action to take and who to notify if malware is detected. That is what this particular policy does. So let me click on anti malware policy. Here you could see uh, a default policy and it is always on. Organization cannot disable this anti-malware scanning. Exchange Online Protection use multiple anti-malware engines. This design enables to offer multi-layered protection to catch all non-malware. The EOP services scan messages for malware. If EOP detects a malware, it deletes the messages. EOP might also send notification to the senders or administrators. It deletes an infected message. EOP automatically protects email messages against malware. EOP uses anti-malware policies with this anti-malware policy for malware protection settings. Microsoft 365 comes with default anti-malware policy. This is the default anti-malware policy that comes automatically with Microsoft 365. Admin can view this, did this and configure but not to delete. 
is not uh, there is an option to delete but you will not be able to delete uh, policy delete the default policy for, for a better performance you can also create a custom anti -malware, malware policy as you can see here here you have the option to create custom anti malware policies that apply for a specific uses groups or domains in their organization that we can create a uh, custom anti malware policy and apply to specific uses group or domains custom policies always take precedence over default policy so if we have a default policy and custom policy custom policy always take precedence over default policy however an organization can change the priority of its custom policies we will understand how the anti malware pipeline works so for the better understanding i have created a ppt here so let us try to understand this through the help of the ppt organization that host mailboxes in exchange online rely on exchange online protection to protect incoming and outgoing mail when an organization join to microsoft 365 when this organization join to microsoft 365 an administrator must specify mx and txt record to their domain name in dns as you can see here uh, when this organization joined to microsoft 365 an administrator has to add records in public dns mx record and txt record the mx record ensures that email sent to the tenant's domain arrives in the mailbox hosted in the exchange online to op services so that is what mx record does send the protection framework spf record is a special type of txt record in dns it identifies a host as a valid sender for the organization domain the system catches a sizable amount of spam and bulk email at the first entry point in microsoft 365 so before even eop comes into play microsoft in the entry level itself catches sizable amount of spam and bulk emails in the first entry point in microsoft 365 so for this, Microsoft user use the technique of IP center reputation heuristics. So these techniques uh, combined with all this technology, it identifies sizable amount of spam and bulk email. <clears throat> Once mail passes through the first entry to the Microsoft 365, multiple signature based antivirus scanners scan the message. This process, which is multiple signature based antivirus scanners, this itself catching up to 80 percentage of the commodity malware coming into the network once email reaches to the microsoft 365 network eop scans then uh, the eop comes in picture eop scans individual files using a technique called reputation block with the reputation block eop compares file attachment with the results of scans that microsoft 365 previously completed eop then checks to see if there are <clears throat> specific files or piece of files that previously identified as malicious if so eop checks the whether the files or pieces of files appears to match something in as coming messages eop provides a foundational level or basic level protection to microsoft 365 so the organization that enables microsoft defender for office 365 in their tenant to get a extent protection of eop Microsoft Defender for Office 365 provides this extra protection by scanning emails that made it through the filters that technique described earlier. All right, now we go back to the anti malware policy. We are going to create a custom anti malware policy. I click on create and I name it like uh, a test, test policy. And I provide the description the same like test policy. So we click on next. And here we have to give either some usage, groups, and domains. So I provide my domain here. So I apply this custom policy for my complete domain. Click on next. Here under protection settings, you could see some enable common attachment field. There are certain types of files that you really shouldn't send through email normally we should not send files related to dot se dot apk dot app dot apx and all these 43 file types instead of scanning these files what we can do we can completely block these files reject the messages with non-delivery receipt 
so uh, that, that that comes under protection settings enable the common attachment filters these files normally we should not be sent through email and here we have an option to enable zero hour auto purge for malware if you select this option sap quarantines previously delivered malware messages we can enable this and here we have the option to notify you notify that mean about undelivered messages from internal senders notify admin about undelivered messages for, uh, from external sender and the customized notification all the options are available here and under quarantine policy we have admin only access policy we have a default full access policy and default full access with the notification policy so default to full access policy this policy grant full access to the quarantine when malware is detected it automatically moves to the quarantine without any other notification or restrictions essentially it is silent process where no alerts are generated so that is what default full access policy we have admin only access policy see as the name implies only administrator have access to the quarantine as such when malware is detected in the messages in regular end uses the messages are placed in quarantine but the recipients do not have visibility or control over over them only administrator can review and manage the quarantine items so that is what meant by admin only access policy and we have one more policy default full access with a notification policy this policy combines aspects of both previous options when malware is detected it moves to the quarantine but users receive a notification about the action administrator can still manage quarantine and users are informed of the event so that is what done by default to full access notification policy so you can uh, select according to that all right let's click on next and here you have the option to review and submit it so you can create a custom policy now if you go back to the threat policies here you have anti spam and anti phishing these two we will see in the coming video thanks for watching this video if you have any questions or suggestions please mark it in the comment section thanks for watching this video goodbye